Hello, welcome to Toys Are Evil. Today I have a look at uh, some blind boxes which I bought from Anime Festival Asia not too long ago. And, and it has been a while since I've uh, done any video reviews, so please forgive me if uh, things don't go as smoothly as before. I'm trying to get back into the seat and this is the first video I've done after a while. Okay, after a while. First we have a look at this series. Let's, let me put this aside. First series um, from Mikudayu, okay, or rather is Mikudayu series that features uh, the Nendoroid Petite figures from Good Smile Company. Nendoroid Petite action figures, if you can see the text below. Ironically, when I bought these, uh, I didn't know these were these. I thought these were these figures. Okay, that's how that shows how. How much of an idiot I am when it comes to anime figures. So, but nevertheless, uh, let's have a look see at what they are. Let's see what is in store. Let's have a look at the box first. I think I would assume this is the first series. And not entirely sure because I've done my research. <laughs> not entirely sure if this is all just purely Miku figures. This all they show are Miku figures, you know, on the box. So it's a bit tricky lah. Huh? So let's here's hoping there's something more than just micro figures lah. If I go to the top, it's take down pretty pretty harshly though. Like we go down from the open up from the below aspect of the box. Okay. Okay, put the box aside. There we have a Miku. Let me see. Oh. Okay, we'll try to set this up. It's just it's interesting because the um, let me put this aside now. The figures come with the petite Nendoroid itself, the hair pieces at the side, and also a base. You understand, or oh, Mr. Do, which uh, I think is quite appreciative. Wow, tears easily. Just littering the floor. It's interesting because it shows right, or rather, it indicates right and left as well. So that's quite appreciative. For people like me who might not necessarily get it huh, when it comes to sorting out figures. I will not tell. Oh yes, I will. I thought I was not going to tell open the uh, the figure itself. What what happens at uh, on Nandoroids are you see the head. Okay, you can actually pull it apart. Quite scary, lah. Huh? Pull it apart, and the plastic sleeves, or rather the plastic uh, layerings on it, you can literally take it apart, which is fine by me. I uh, love it when they take extra precautions uh, for the quality of the figure. Yes, uh, limbs are falling apart as well. Oops, sorry. Uh, I guess not just for the uh, yeah, taking the whole thing apart. Mm, not just for the protection of the figures and also for the paint to not scratch each other. I, I, I would think so, but I'm not 100% sure. So essentially, I have taken the Nendoroid the part lah. Well, quite stressful, right? But I think the fun, I would like to think the fun is in uh, putting them back together. The little skirt, yes, little panties as well. Huh? For all you guys into this, don't pretend, huh? don't pretend. Not that I would know anything about it, but you know, don't pretend. Stubby in, you know, that nice little figure or body already. You know, to put the heads, put the head back. That's it. Easy to pull apart, easy to put back in. But it stays firm. That, that to me is important. Okay, the hair piece. The hair piece, uh, okay, let me put the hair back first. The little joints, if you can see. There, the put. That makes putting the figure back together is uh, smooth and, and nice. 
Then of course I forgot what's the left and right hair already lah. Ay, yeah, yeah, never mind lah, never mind. Give up our hand drop, some more hand drop. Okay. I hope this is the hair lah. Huh? Maybe it's not. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Just as I'm rambling to myself and figuring out what's the left and right. Make sure you know where's the left and right when you take out from the plastic. Ah. Okay, live lesson. You learn it from my mistake. And I'm okay with that. Putting on the hair, putting on the hair. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? Of me rambling with a loose hand dropping out. Let me show you the hand. I don't know if you can see the hand. There's a little tattoo on the arm. Isn't that great? This is fun. Lah. I really like this little cutie. And there you have it. A little cutie. That needs to go on her stand. Can she stand by herself? No, she cannot. Okay, fine. Easy snap-on figures. There's a hole out back where you can put stamp piece on. I call it a stamp piece. Maybe there's some official word for it. I don't know. Why can't she stamp properly? Uh, and there you have it. Stand. That is a part of the figure now. It's not standing straight though. I don't know why. Maybe I have to twist it further or maybe it's supposed to be like this you know to make it straight I'm not really sure but there is she standing and nice that there's a articulation because of the joints the arms can move the head can move yeah rock to it and there you have it she is ready to meet her friends you see the box Ta -da. Thank you for watching Toys Are Evil and the next video will open up the other blind box. See you soon.